Time for Kids reporter Claire Epting and I'm in Carson, California, home of the Goodyear Blimp. I'm going to interview a pilot. They've been nice enough to let me take a ride and we should be going in a few minutes. After my interview with our pilot, Kristen Davis, we went outside to get ready to ride the Goodyear Blimp. It was returning from a flight and our trip would be the last of the day. The Blimp base here in Carson is one of three in the country. The other two are in Akron, Ohio and Pompano Beach, Florida. The Goodyear blimp you see here is called the Spirit of America. It's 192 feet long, 50 feet wide, and about 60 feet high. It's filled with helium gas, which is lighter than air. The skin of the blimp is as thick as a trampoline, and it's extremely hard to tear. And most blimps usually last seven or eight years before they need to be replaced. They told me that while millions of people would love to fly the blimp, rides are not open to the public. They're usually reserved for employees of Goodyear and members of the press like Time for Kids. It's estimated that over 60 million see the Goodyear blimp flying overhead each year, making it one of the most famous aircraft in the world. When it's time to board, they hold the ladder for you because the ship never stops moving. It's so light that even a gentle breeze makes it rock back and forth, so you have to be careful when you board, sort of like getting on a boat. Once you're on and in your seat, liftoff happens within just a minute or two. There are no seatbelts on the blimp, and it can hold up to six people per flight, including the pilot. Takeoff is very steep, and soon you're about 1,000 feet in the air. The blimp normally cruises between 1,000 and 1,500 feet at an average speed of 35 miles per hour. The ride is incredibly smooth. After all, you're just floating on air. The engines are a little loud, but it's still easy to talk. I was enjoying the amazing view over the city of Long Beach and the Pacific Ocean when something incredible happened. Our pilot Kristen asked if I wanted to fly the blimp myself, so I climbed into the pilot seat. Kristen explained to me how the foot pedals steer the blimp to the right and left. I didn't expect them to be so hard to push down, but they were. Once I got the hang of it, the ship became easy to steer. That big wooden wheel you see to my right is what makes the blimp go up and down. After explaining everything, Kristen then told me where she wanted the ship to go. She'd point to a piece of land in the distance and I'd take the blimp there. It's an incredible feeling to know that you are in command of such a huge ship and it responds very well to the controls. Soon, I had us turned around and headed back to the airfield. Sitting at the controls, it got me thinking that it might be fun to be a pilot someday, like Kristen. After an hour, it was time to land. The sun was setting as Kristen banked the Goodyear blimp down at a steep angle toward the crew that was waiting on the ground to safely tie the blimp down for the night. With all the ropes and cables waiting for us, it reminded me of how they guide the big character balloons you see on the Thanksgiving Day Parade. I hope you enjoyed seeing what it is like to ride and fly the Goodyear blimp. I thank our pilot, Kristen Davis, Bob Erhausen, and everyone else at the Goodyear Blimp Base in Carson, California for allowing me to share this unforgettable experience with you. This is Time for Kids reporter Claire Epting reporting from Carson.